Guys, welcome back, and uh, we've got a long, uh, a long overdue video for you on uh, the stability shaft by Breakthrough Technologies. Yes. So we've been talking about doing this one for a while, um, and, and we, we really wanted to do it, but we, we had to kind of have a little bit of time where we, we got Matt into a new putter, then we, we kind of had to do all the right uh, steps of the process Absolutely. first. Get it built up. Plus, they've been in super high demand. You guys have been they selling really these have. Like crazy. They really have. We've, so. been, uh, we've been selling out of them all the time. Yeah. Uh, it's been a real kind of hot product for us over the summer. That's great. Um, so a little background, I think, yeah, on, uh, on, on the company and, and kind of what this was all about. So um, really, the, the shaft and the putter has been overlooked uh, during this whole boom of mm. aftermarket shafts, you know, driver shafts, wedge shafts, all, all, everything, everything else has been looked at from a technology standpoint, but putters have been sort of just went, well, we'll put that putter shaft in it, that'll yeah. do. Like guys are doing roll face technology and all this kind of everything, stuff. Everything, yeah, I mean. It's just a, a $10 shaft goes in there and that's, that's the it. They just stick a standard shaft in there, 100, 120, 125 grams mm. and, and kind of uh, off you go. Yeah. Not really thinking though, over, over the years, the putter head has evolved a fair amount, especially uh, from a head weight standpoint. True. So we had obviously, you know, the old bullseye style putters, mm. the old blade style, the Wilson, you know, 8802 sort of uh, shape. So the putters used to be quite light in head weight. Okay. So one of the things that has, has kind of evolved over the last few years is the increase in weight of putter heads in order to create stability and mass and fuel and mm -hmm. all these sorts of things. So as, as the weight of putter heads has increased, nothing's changed with regards to the, the actual shaft itself. So essentially using the same shaft that's been used yeah. for 50 years, mm -hmm. despite the fact that the head weights may have gone up 50, 75 grams, whatever. Absolutely, quite, and quite significantly at times. Right. So, you know, putter head weights probably used to be around, you know, 300 grams, now they're 400 plus. Really? There's companies like Cure Putters out there that have putters head, uh, the, the head weights between four and 500 grams. Wow. Serious head weight, almost is, double yeah. what, uh, you know, the old style putters used to yeah, be. Yeah, it is. So, you know, on, on a, a 50 foot putt, on a, on a kind of regular putter shaft, what the guys who were testing these putter shafts found was there was massive amounts of deflection, twist, droop. Really, the shaft was not stabilizing the putter head in okay. the way that it needed to. Right. So, you know, they, they decided to do some testing using Quintic, uh, using some other sort of, uh, you know, launch monitors for putting, and, and they came up with a better solution uh, of, of kind of making a technology that would help putting specifically. Right. So what people will probably notice right away is it's essentially made in two pieces. Mm -hmm. The top section is a no taper, it's graphite? Graphite, yep, eight and layers of high modulus uh, graphite. So it's extremely low torque. One degree of torque. So it's as low as basically you can go. Yep. And then the bottom section is more or less a traditional small, what, like seven inch section of steel? It is exactly, so there's, there's two different ways you can do it. So if you have a plumber's neck or, or you know, a, a kind of a very standard um, putter shaft, this is what we'd call a flare tip. So okay. we, we actually we actually had to cut the original shaft and insert it into the graphite tube on this one. Gotcha. So two different ways to do it. They either come with the, the steel tip section or you can cut the, the putter at the original, mm. um, the original kind of shaft that was in it and insert it into the graphite tube. And you can take, um you can make this an S-bend neck. You can do all that stuff. Which is the, the real benefit. They're the first ones to do that. There's been some companies who have uh, had some putter shaft technology and, and Acra are one, for example. Mm. We've got actually some Acra shafts we're going to test in the next few oh, weeks. Oh, nice. Good. They've sent us a couple down, which are brilliant. So they've got a couple that are summer soft. There's uh, four different flexes. Um, four and flexes and putter shafts. Yep, That's yep. so four different, and it's, it's all different tip sections. So mm. softer tip section, so a 100, 200, 300, and 400 that matches their, oh. their their, their kind of uh, wood line of shaft, right. same same idea. Wow. So um, you know, if you've got a slow stroke and, and you're you're kind of a little bit more of a, a kind of rhythm putter, um, you know, you probably want something with a bit more feel and have, feel like it has a bit more kick. Right. If you're someone with a more of a pop stroke, like a Snedek or somebody with a, a little bit more speed to it, yep. you might want something that's a little bit more stable and wow. stiffer. So and then there's two flexes in between. So hmm. um, you know, starting to look at putting in, in more depth. So what the so guys found when they were looking at this was uh, the biggest difference was on off-center strikes. Okay. So stabilizing the head on off-center hits. So, you know, if you hit that, that uh, ball half an inch uh, out into the toe or into the heel, that ball, that face would twist 
you know, half a degree, maybe 0.7 of a degree. That's a lot. And you'll miss a putt because of that at a certain length. Absolutely. So if you have, if you have the face angle delivered half a degree uh, open with a, a, a square strike, yep. you will make this 12 foot putt that we have right here. If you hit, have that face half a degree open, but you hit it half, a half an inch in the toe, uh -huh. and you get another half a degree of deflection, yep. so the, the face effectively, you know, it magnifies the amount of open because of the toe strike, you'll miss that putt. Interesting. So the same delivered face angle with an off-center strike will, will make or break whether you make that putt or not. Interesting. Okay. What they found with stability putter shafts is you can reduce the twist in the putter by about half. Which is significant enough significant. to maybe make a 10 footer you would have missed. So that same putt that's half a degree open with half an inch in the toe uh, of a strike that would normally deflect about half a degree, 0.7 of a degree, will now go in wow. at about 0.2 or 0.3 degrees of twist in the face. And I mean, that's not marketing, that's not fluff, that's legitimately a few more putts yeah. in a tournament for a pro and, and for weekend golfers, maybe you make the 10 footer you need is. with your buddies or something. Yep. Amazing. So basically guys, I. I when I, when I heard this and when I went through all the technical aspects of the, the product with the guys who designed it, um, what I kind of formulated in my mind was, this makes a standard putter a high MOI putter. Okay. So when we talk about high MOI, it's a bit of a buzz term in golf, but what that means, high MOI, is it means the club is more resistant to twisting, Yes. right? So when you take a, a putter that's already, you, you know, right yeah, something that's super high MOI, Right, so the 10K by uh, by Nothing even higher than that, right? So take that thing, you know, all super high MOI, the design of it, lots of mass out in the, the wings of the putter and the toe and the heel. You take that and put something like a stability in it, it becomes uber ultra high MOI because this is stabilizing, that is stabilizing, oh, okay. you know, fit the person to the right grip for them and, and you know, the effects of, of those misses are, are non-existent, next to nothing, next to nothing on, on those types of putts. So, you know, if, if, if we test you on Quintic and we measure that your strike location is kind of all over the face and we look at the twist and go, well, you're struggling to hit the putt, you know, in the middle of the head, we're going to go down this route. We can really improve uh, people's putting. So, you know, it, it's, this, is a, this is where we're going to do so many videos on the putting. I, yeah. I you know, could go on about this for a while. Yep. Impact ratio. You know, that's one of the most overlooked and underrated parts about um, helping someone with their putting is the regulating the speed in which the ball leaves the face is, okay. is distance control. That's what distance control is. So Impact relative, ratio. Relative to how fast they've swung the putting. Correct. It's, so it's basically smash factor. Yeah. Right, so yeah, so making sure that the impact ratio is super consistent every single time means that you're not having to guess, mm. um, you know, on, on sort of the different outputs from the putter. Right, okay. makes you more consistent. Much more consistent. Gotcha. So, um, so that's, that's stability. Is, yeah, when you first put it in yours, I was really curious because mm -hmm. nothing putter shaft wise has been on my radar. Yeah. But as you say, every other part of golf technology, putter heads included, have gone 20 miles, and mm -hmm. this putter shaft has gone nowhere. Nowhere, hasn't, it's hasn't, literally nowhere. hasn't moved. It's, it's basically still the way it's always been. Amazing, yeah. So, um, so this, is, this is pretty exciting for us, and yeah. you know, another, another way in which we can help you guys putt a little better, be a little bit more stable, um, you know, with that, that you know, face angle and strike point on, on those kind of putts that you need to make, especially the ones that are close in. Yeah. You know, if you, if you yeah, have a little true. bit of the jitters with those ones. We all do. We all do. So it'll be really interesting to see if, if uh, some of the tour pros start to incorporate some of this sort of stuff into their, uh, their putters as time goes on. From a pitch standpoint and all the, I mean, it would make no sense to not at least try it. Why not? And I can't wait to see, you know, I've done a little bit of mm -hmm. quintic fitting with you, but not much. But I, I'm really curious to see how well that kind of regulates my miss hits because I tend to hit them in the toe mm -hmm. fairly often when I'm putting. Right. Um, and I, I know for a fact that that's sometimes making me either leave it short. Sure. Or I'm probably leaving them a little bit open and pushing it to the left. We see that all the time, and I think it maybe alluded to that in your video. Is, is people talk, uh, people tend to strike it a little bit in the toe, Matty. So, you know, when we look at the the putter, and, and the, you know, if I've explained this and you've seen it before, you know, skip on a little bit because <laughs> I'll explain it again. But you know, the the line that's normally in in the middle of these putters is the symmetrical yes, center right. of the putter, yep. but it's not the center of the mass, yep. right? So we've got the hosel, we've got the shaft, so there's more weight in the heel than there is in the toe, which means the center of gravity is actually heel side. So, mm. you know, where that C is, is you know, on the grace on the back of that. What's well, that substantial? You know, that's, it's, it's, it's out in the heel. Wow. 
right? So when we hit some putts here, I would actually like you to you know, be consciously trying to uh, you know, hit the, the, the putt slightly in the heel of your putter okay. in order to hit it more solid. And we'll measure that. You know, we've got the club twist measurement on right. Quintic. And let's, let's measure where the sweet spot is and match up with your feel to, um, to what's actually resulting in a really square That's contact. a good little tip, though. Yeah. And honestly, you've told me that, and I, I forgot. <laughs> but it's I, very interesting. You forget so quickly, oh, no, the, the center absolutely. of the putter's there. But it's, in fact, you want to strike it just mm -hmm. a, hair, uh, a hair on the heel side. That's it. Almost, I would say, almost everyone I work with aims the, the, the ball too much in the toe of the putter. Wow. Almost everyone. Cool. So let's hit a few putts let's with it putts, and, uh, yeah. and see what's going on. So we want to kind of see what kind of effect this has, and, and this will probably be a little bit of an intro to Quintic for a few of our viewers. They yep. may have seen it in, in that live putter fit we By did. By the time we're kind of done this series and putting, you know, the, the, the guys will be very familiar with all the parameters we're talking Absolutely. about. Absolutely. Right, that looks better from a, an alignment standpoint, point, Matty. Okay. See how that did. One for one. So we've talked about it before. I'm not necessarily getting the ball to roll the best, but my putting has been okay. Interesting. So, okay. so we've got um, a really, really good sort of face angle there, Matt. Zero point three five closed. Fantastic. Um, you know, if we go to the probability of holding that one, you've got an eighty percent chance of holding that one at, at fifteen feet. Okay. So really, really good, good face control there. If we go back to the launch and spin, launched at point six of a degree with 60 rpms of forward spin quite a lot we need to be a little bit careful in how much forward spin we don't really want much oh, really? more than 50. Um, okay. you know if you think of a downhiller uh, on, a, on a pretty slick green if we get more than 50 we could that ball could get away from us a little bit and you know uh, what could be 18 inches or two feet past the hole can turn into four feet past the hole and you you give, give yourself a little bit more work a fair amount yeah, yeah. so um, we'll be conscious of that but a pretty good number straight away. And how did that, um, in terms of twisting, I don't think I struck that perfect. It yep. maybe felt a hair to the side, but not by much. And I don't think it affected the putt very much, certainly. But Well, you had a perfect storm. You had a face angle that was 0.35 closed. Okay. With a impact that was 0.5 open. Right, so they almost So they cancelled each other out, gotcha. basically. Gotcha. So, which is, which is okay, so. Interesting. Uh, in terms of trying to match that up, though, a little bit more in the heel um, would be would be, would be perfect. Ideal. Okay. So a little okay. more towards the heel this time. Yeah, a little more towards the heel. Even a fraction more in alignment. Keep going, there you go. It's very pacey, but. Some Felt straight. So overspin to it. Felt like better contact that time. Yeah, it was a better contact. It was uh, only 0.23 um, opening. You've got the face a little more closed. You're a, you're a rotator. You're like me. You're, 100%. You're, yeah, yeah, you really rotate the, uh, the, the blade. Um, but you, you do it. You do it and control it well. Mm. Impact ratio is close to identical to the previous one, Matty, which really? is great. Okay. Yeah, almost almost exactly the same. So impact ratio on the first one was 166, 168, 167. Mm. So you know that's that's in the window we're trying to control it in. Gotcha. Really, it's um, really good. very very solid coming off the putter. It feels it is, isn't it? Feels totally different. I mm -hmm. think. I don't know if I would say that I felt the, the shaft flexing in mine, but it right. feels like less output yep. on my putter versus this one. Like this one, I feel like a smaller stroke, the ball's going to travel further, a little more. even if you don't smack it right in the middle of the face. That's, that's, that's interesting feedback. Yeah, yeah I think the, the, the sort of graphite um, will help the, the strike feel a bit more lively. It does. You know, give you a bit more of that feedback. Now, a lot of people say that the graphite, you know, dulls the feedback. I've nah, not found that. I don't think so either. Um, you know, it just, it just feels more solidly struck uh, from, from what, my money? Yeah, I think I was aware of where I struck the yeah. putt, but I didn't feel any twisting. Okay. Maybe that's what people are saying. They, they've lost feedback because maybe a lot of the feedback was based on the ball or the putter, the putter twisting yeah, on it. Yeah, maybe. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a couple more. So I think, um, you know, the, the players out there with, uh, with really heavy, heavy putters mm. are the ones who, who really need to look at this as a technology. And right. we've seen putter heads, like we talked about, you know, 330, 340, and 350 were always the traditional weights that Scotty Cameron would use. Yep. 
you know, now you look at even roll, it's now 355, 370, 385. So wow. the mass is increasing, um, you know, all the time. So people are, and, and we get, rec no one ever comes in here and goes, I want my putter lighter. Yeah, who would want that? No one, yeah. you know, no one really comes in and out asks for that. But a lot of people go, yeah, you know, I feel like my stroke is a little bit shaky. Mm. I feel like I get a little bit handsy or twitchy. Can you make it a little bit heavier in order to take the hands out of the putt? Absolutely we can. Yeah. You know, and, and this is another way in which we can make you feel more comfortable with, uh, with uh, the putter. Now you stick a heavy putter on a traditional shaft, it's going to be kind of a little noodly. it's going it to be unstable. Uh, you know, I honestly, I really want to try yeah. that on gears. I want yeah. to, I want to see will, if there's sure. droop, I want to see dynamic lie angle changes on a, you know, on an 80 foot putt. I think it would. Honestly, the, the, the difference in feel between this and my putter yeah. is so drastic. It's interesting, it's isn't it? It's unlike anything I've tried in a putter. A little Healy again in the strike. So that much, eh? That's good. Okay. That felt quite good. It is extremely solid. Extremely solid feel. A really good lot of green across the board. So it's giving you a little bit. The only, the only red it's giving you up there is for a little bit of hook spin. Um, but in order to, you know, you're getting so much sort of uh, in to out with your club path, um, which is your stroke. Uh, you know, that's, that's why you have a putter that has as much toe hang as this has, right. you know, because you're trying to manage the club face relative to your arcing stroke. You've got, you know, what would be considered an extremely aggressive arc right. to your stroke, which is why you need something that, that kind of really um, falls open and then is quite slow to catch up. And that's a common misconception is that that type of stroke, people mm -hmm. are going to big mallets yeah. thinking that's what I need. That's it. com the complete opposite. Complete opposite. Yeah. You, you got to match up the, the stroke uh, in order to the, uh, or to match the, the face angle. But in all honesty, if you're someone who, who has that, um, you know, uh, that arc, but you leave the face angle you know, too much open. I'm going to go towards a back towards a face. Then so you, can, you need a mount. Then you need a face balance putter. Gotcha. It doesn't even have to be so much a mallet, but it's more the face balance face element. Balance. Yeah. Gotcha. So the mallet's great for the additional mass mm. and increasing the MOI, but it's you know more the the face relationship. Okay. Um, you know, in order to create more of a square face at impact, that's what it is. It's it's matching the face angle to the path to the loft. Right. You There's know, a lot more involved than. A lot most people would be on. familiar with, yeah, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so for your putter, I would like to see half a degree more loft on there as well. So I'm going to okay. make a little adjustment yeah. uh, to that one right now. I, I just see a fraction uh, too much overspin. So um, you want more launch angle and less overspin? Yeah. So if you go to uh, Matt, if you go to um, sort of hit composite there on the screen and watch, watch what your golf ball does after it leaves the putter face. Do you see it bobble? Yeah. Right, so go back and do that again. So, do it one more time. So that's bobbling because oh, okay. there's so much overspin, the ball is literally gearing into the ground and then bouncing up. So that's what that little it's, motion it's, yeah, is. Yes, literally, it's, there's so much pressure off the ground, yeah. it's forcing the ball upward off the ground. Wow. So um, we're, not, we're not creating enough launch and we're creating too much um, too much forward spin. So we want to just calm that down a little bit. So you've got some serious technology going in the putter now. You've got the grip, you've got the forward grip, which gets your hands in the position you want. Yeah, so we've been, we were talking about that before we started, that we've got, in terms of a putter, head, shaft, and grip, we've got about as much technology as you can get. And, and you know, the thing is, you know, no one would ever uh, come into a place like this and accept if we, if we didn't fit them to the right grip, yeah. we didn't fit them to the right shaft, loft, lie, and head recommendation. You're, really? you're just doing the same thing with putting. And I get that putting is more about feel, and, but you don't have to sacrifice the feel and, and you know, the, the, you know, what you like to look at True. for technology. You can, you can have the best of both worlds. Absolutely. Why no, not? The, I mean, this putter feels great, and it's, it is by far the most, I guess, um, full of technology I've ever used anything. Especially the shaft. There won't be many people out there uh, who are using, you know, putters with, with more technology than this, that's no. for sure. You know, radial face, you know, on the face, getting the ball to gear forward. You've got you know, your shaft, you've got the, you know, you've got the right loft uh, and lie now. You know, I've, I've been looking at the dynamic lie angle. Your lie angle is coming in absolutely is it? perfect. It's really, really good. Very cool. And this is a standard lie to begin with? Yeah. Interesting. 
Yeah, the putter grip is mostly just to help me get my hands a bit more upright versus too low. Yeah. And that's, that's something we, we really see as a, as a key fundamental in good putters, the, the shaft being in line with the forearms that are dressed. Yep. You don't want the hands too low, uh, and then that makes the toe sit up, and then you know we lose control of the face angle. That's exactly it. So not enough people get in the Steve Stricker, mm -hmm. Aaron Badley position of having the hands up there. And, and the forward putter actually you know, helps you with that, isn't it? More mass out in front of the It's all the, up the here, grip. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So it actually promotes your, your hands to be in that right position. Yeah, just puts it in the, in the upper part of your palm mm -hmm. and the, brings the putter a little bit higher. All right. All right. So we've got half a degree more loft. A little bit more loft, a little bit of a heel strike. Let's uh, nudge it just a hair further forward in the stance. Just nudge there, good. Okay. Like a little heel strike. I would expect that first putt to maybe go a little bit left, uh, sorry, right, because the arcing stroke would give the putter face more time to rotate. That makes perfect sense. Based on sense. where I moved it up in my yeah, stance, yeah. You have to match that up a little bit more. That's okay, though. So how did we do in terms of rolling it? We, we rolled it with way less uh, forward spin. Interesting. Yeah, so you, were down for, you went from seven to eight. So if you watch this one, this will look way more neutral. Oh, yeah, the green line is not... Moving, um, it's not, not it's rotating not, as fast as it. It's not jumping into the ground anymore. Interesting. That's, that's pretty, I mean, it's amazing what half a degree loft on a putter would do. So yeah. you've just got a little bit of launch. If you guys who, who missed our uh, putter fit with Matt, what we're looking for in an ideal world for Matt, he plays on really good greens all the time. So um, normally about a degree of loft would be ideal for you, Matt. That's all that is, eh? just a degree. That's what you look for, just enough to lift out the depression, the, the weight of the golf ball creates on the green. Slower greens, you want more loft. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. If you play in nice greens, one to one and a half. If you play in slower greens, one and a half to two. Okay. Better. Matched yeah. up nicely. That was much, much more matched up, I think. That was a really nice roll, Matty. Just about ideal from a, a roll perspective. So 0 0.86, only 30, 37 RPMs of forward spin. We had a slight closed face, but we did have still have a bit of a toe strike. Mm -hmm. So talk to me about how much of a toe strike that was, because I didn't feel almost anything. I, I shouldn't say I didn't feel it. I didn't notice the ball take off crooked, mm -hmm. and I definitely didn't feel twisting. Yep. I could feel that it was maybe about more here. Slightly out there, yeah. it wasn't. Point, point 0.3 around. of a degree, so I mean it's it's probably it's, it's a very minimal amount out in the out on the toe. So that's let's say theoretically, and it, and it seems like it has. That's reduced that number by about what half a degree yeah. through the shaft. I might have almost missed that putt. Yeah. With with a standard shaft, potentially with that strike. Potentially. Yeah. yeah. yeah We're I mean, looking at maybe you know a matter of millimeters, but still, it's interesting knowing. Well, I think it takes the pressure off knowing that if you miss hit it a little bit, yeah, it's mitigating that. Uh, I guess that offline number by quite Absolutely. a bit. You know, we, we talked a little bit about um, you know, the role of torque and impact location and yep. you know, the, the amount of time the ball spends on the, the putter face. Well, the, the, the putter or the putt spends more time on the face than the drive. Does it really? It has to, yeah, because we're not, uh, we're not, we're not you know, creating as much output. I think people think it think it spent, and myself included, think it spends more time on the driver because you see those videos of it being yeah. mashed against the face and you yeah. feel like it's stuck to it, but it's really right. not. No, no, it's in the four, te four ten thousandths of a second. It's literally quicker than a blink of an eye. Wow. Um, so it's, it's, so it's, in this case, more more effect can be had through a shaft because it's on the face for exactly. longer. Exactly, on, on that torque. And they really found that the influence of torque uh, in stabilizing the, the twisting of the, of the uh, the putter head played a big, big role. Hmm. And that was one of the key uh, design features, you know, from Barney Adams was to get this down to one degree of torque. And uh, how he done that was using, you know, significantly high, higher modulus, um, you know, graphite. Right. So higher strength to weight materials. There's eight layers of this super high modulus graphite uh, in the, in the uh, stability shaft, which is what gives it such a firm um, yeah. but great feel. I think for anyone who's struggling at all with their putting, even yep. if you're not, mm -hmm. if you're looking for something that feels way different yep. and, and kind of mixes up your performance, I would say this is a great idea. Yeah. Because it's not, I mean, putting has been okay for me lately, certainly mm -hmm. not great, yep. but I think this might, in combination with obviously working on technique, might be the, kind of that little edge that gets yeah. someone in the right direction, maybe drop a stroke or two around Absolutely. a couple extra putts, but yep. I would recommend getting out there and trying it. 
Well, I mean, there's no harm in, in giving it a try and, and kind of adding, you know, a little bit of more improvement to the putting, mm. um, especially if you've got that heavier head weight yeah. like we talked about. And so this one was around, what, 375 or so, you said? Yeah, so this one starts around, it's about 360, but it's got the, the two tungsten weights in the bottom okay. that you can actually uh, increase the weight if you want to. You make it lighter, or, you know, I've, I've actually decreased the weight of some of my Bobby Grace putters in the past okay. um, on, for my own... Um, my own putters but you know going back to shafts you know in the past actually before you know stability shafts came out I actually used to use a dynamic gold x7 uh, wedge shaft in my, in my putter so the stiffest steel shaft stiffest you could one find. I could absolutely find so about you know 300 and you know 30 cpms hmm. which is extremely extremely stiff is what I used to use um, I know the guys at Quintic uh, friend of ours Jim Mackay he recommends using like a, a, a KBS C taper 130x okay. he really likes that uh, as, that as a putter Shaft, That's good it? to know if there's some other options that maybe someone yeah. doesn't want to invest in this, they can look at something. It's a cheaper option. It's a obviously. cheaper option. I mean, yeah. these, these, you know, has to be said, it's not the cheapest uh, option out there. Yeah. It's about 230 bucks Canadian, which is just expensive. Um, but it's cheaper than most driver shafts. And you're going to hit it, you're going to hit it a lot more often. Into 30 times, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Minimum. For sure. Okay, that's just cool stuff. So I think there's going to be a million things we're going to start doing with putters. Absolutely. We just touched on so many that I'm sure people want to hear about weights and roll face technology, grips. Yeah. It's all coming. I think this is a nice little icebreaker. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad that we got out here on the green and kind of got this process started. The, right? the first one, I think next, you know, the next couple of weeks, we've got a lot more to come. We actually got some great ideas, you know, ran a few polls. Uh, yeah, we did. We got some great ideas from you guys as to what you want to see. So, you know, we've, we've kind of got our list together of what we want to do. Yeah, looking forward to it. I know, exactly. Guys, um, you know, leave your comments. I'm sure this is a lot to digest on a putter shaft and, and kind of, you know, maybe this is something you, you never thought would uh, be a technology that was uh, in a store like this, but mm. we're always looking for the 1%, aren't we? Absolutely. Always. So uh, let us know your thoughts and we're happy to kind of answer further questions on it. And, you know, if you're in the area, come come by and try it. You know, my putter's got it. We've got a bunch on the, the green here with, uh, with stability uh, shafts in them. Come by and give them a little try. Absolutely. Yeah. Guys, thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you again soon.